Why are swimming pools built so poorly? Or why do they have the reputation that some swimming pool builders build a terrible product? And the reality is, is that, and I don't think I'm letting the cat out of the bag here, there are a lot of very bad or very poor swimming pool builders out there. People who lack the technical skills or experience that they should have, the requisite skills that they should have to do this kind of work. They don't have them. But to answer the question, there's largely been a lack of regulation for as long back as the industry goes. And it doesn't really, it creates this very low barrier of entry. Nobody has to pass an exam or get a license or do anything like that. You put on a hat, it says pool guy, you are a pool guy. But the reality is, is that it's, it's harder than just digging a hole. On the very surface, it seems very simple to just dig a hole and put a pool in it, concrete or liner or whatever. Like it's not that hard, right? And it's not that hard. There's a lot of ways that you can build a pool. But also, there's a lot of ways that you can build a really crappy pool. Like if you tried to build a car sight unseen, like you've never done it before, you don't have engineering, whatever, you're just going to figure it out and build it. Maybe even you could build one, but probably there's going to be a lot of places where it has high rates of failure, things you could have done better, you know, stuff that over time, generationally, you would make improvements to because the first generation kind of sucks and you're figuring it out on the fly. This is how swimming pools largely are built. There is no congruency of building standard and there is no one, you know, kind of trade book that's like, here's how to build a swimming pool, follow these steps and you'll be good. It it just doesn't work like that. There is no material like that. There is no trade licensing and there never has been and there isn't to this day. And that is why there are so many poorly built swimming pools. Maybe combine that with the fact that this is kind of like a cash rich industry. We're talking about big bucks, right? Like if you came to me today in 2022 and said, swimming pool, Steve, build me something totally awesome. What kind of budget do I need? And it's like, okay, first of all, let's just define it it's a residential pool. So it's not commercially awesome. It's a residential pool. But man, we are going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, easy hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you're going to end up making concessions. There's stuff that you're going to have to ax off the list that we weren't able to get because it was just too much money. And that's the reality of modern day swimming pools is that they're just, there's so much money in them. And anytime you're you know, there's there's a low barrier to entry. There's a ton of money to be had in the industry. That's what happens. And that's why there's so many poorly built pools is, you, is you've got these people jumping in where I grew up and where I worked on pools, we called them cowboys and the cowboys would come in. They don't really have any training. They probably have another full-time job doing some other thing. And they just like figure how hard could it be to do swimming pool work? And the reality is, is that maybe a Sometimes, maybe even a lot of the times, it's not that hard. It's like pretty straightforward. But if you miss something because you're inexperienced, the repercussions are severe. The things that can go wrong with a swimming pool are a lot and they're all expensive. None of them are cheap. And that's the reality is like if you don't have experienced hands, you shouldn't be working on swimming pools. But the allure of the cash, the low barrier to entry, the fact that you can probably get away with it some of the time or a lot of the time and it attracts some people into the industry that probably shouldn't be here. You as the homeowner trying to vet the credentials of your swimming pool build it's harder to do than you'd think it would be. And that's the reality of the situation. It is hard to do because it's hard to get references. Like, how do you know it's a good reference versus the cousin of the guy who's trying to sell you the swimming pool? And how do you know that you're not just talking to two good customers versus 100 people who are trying to sue this clown currently? Again, there's just not a there's not enough resources available to you to fully be able to vet your decisions. And that's why To this day, you still hear nightmares about swimming pool builders ripping people off or half building pools or building crappy products. And I wish I could say otherwise, but that's the reality of the situation. If you're having a pool built, you better be careful. You need to be careful. You need to do as much research as you can. You need to be aware. You need to be patient. Don't try to force a square pig into a round hole. I hear that all the time from people like, I I called around and I couldn't find anybody, so I'm going to do this insert harebrain idea here. That's a terrible idea. The right thing to do was to just cool your heels and wait. 
a lot of times. Like if you have a special problem and you're like, oh, this guy was like, he told me it was going to be two years. You're saying that to me like, oh, that was a no. He said it was two years. I'm hearing this is great news. We found somebody. It's only going to be two years and then you're going to have the right person working on this problem. So it's really a perspective issue when you consider it like that. But that's to, to put a pin in it. That's why pools are built so poorly. They're a technical product. They're actually harder to build than you think they are. There's a lack of standards. There's a lack of congruency in the way that they're supposed to be built. There's no training resources available to builders. There's no certification required. There's no way for the pool owners. How the hell does anybody get a pool properly built anyway when you put it all together like this geez holy smokes there's a lot of bad pools out there be careful there's a lot of good ones too and if you do your homework hopefully you can find one of those builders if you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can check out my website swimmingpoolsteve.com